Hey guys, welcome back. I have another reaction video for you and this one is a real treat because obviously you see who's sitting with me. This is Katie, you guys. Hi. <laughs> Katie just uploaded her nighttime routine on her channel and that's actually what we're gonna be looking at is what she's doing with her skin, the products that she's using, the, the way you're using the mm -hmm. products. We're gonna mm -hmm. talk about her skin type. We're gonna get really into it. We're gonna get intimate. Yeah, I yeah. like that. I like it. We're gonna really <laughs> look at your skin. And you know what? I kind of looked at the products that you're using already, yeah. and I can tell you guys, she's using amazing products. You know, I, so. I sent it over, and I was just, I was kind of like this. <laughs> I don't Are you know. Nervous? I am nervous. I'm just here. I'm gonna be reacting, like seeing your reaction. It's yeah. gonna be interesting. I like this. You know why I like this? Because we're gonna have a discussion. Yeah. Instead of me just saying and guessing what people's skin types are, mm -hmm. the things that they're dealing with and everything, we get to actually talk to Katie. So this is gonna be pretty fun. I'm ready. I'm ready, you ready? I'm ready, I'm okay. ready. Let's do this. Hey you guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing my nighttime skincare routine. And I cannot tell you the last time I actually did a skincare routine on my channel. So this is gonna be it today. We're gonna to be doing getting unready. I'm getting ready for bed right now. It's actually eight o'clock at night. Uh, so I will be going to bed after this, but pretty much how I take off my makeup and then my skincare after that. And I'm a little bit nervous filming this video because Susan from Mixed Makeup is actually gonna be reacting to my skincare routine, what she likes, what she thinks I could improve on, what she doesn't like. So I'm sure you guys have seen her videos before where she reacts to people's skincare routines, breaks them down, pauses the video, and kind of goes deep into detail about the products they're using, the techniques that they're using. I'm a little bit nervous. I gotta watch what I say here, but I'm excited because I feel like this is gonna be a really good learning experience for me. Hopefully you guys too, because uh, when I upload this video, Susan's gonna be uploading uh, her video as well on her channel, so make sure you guys go check it out. Step one for me is removing- Wait, okay. First off, don't be nervous. I don't think anyone should be nervous. I think the first thing is having a skincare routine, right? I guess so, yeah. So we know you're gonna cleanse your skin. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's literally step one in a skincare routine mm -hmm. is making sure you remove your makeup. Yeah. So don't be nervous. It's like a learning experience. I feel like nobody's ever broken down my routine before, so I'm curious to see what you're gonna say. Okay, let's do this. My makeup. Now, I chose to film this after I had a full face of makeup on. I don't have eye makeup, but I still have my waterproof mascara on and full face foundation set under eyes the whole deal. So this is heavy makeup for me even though I don't have a lot of makeup on. So what I like to use is a makeup removing oil. This is the Tatcha One Step Cleansing Oil. I've been using this one for a long time. I really like this one. I feel like for my waterproof mascara, it works incredibly well, but I just find this to be very easy. So I just take about two pumps of this into my hand and then- Okay, so first off, I love that you're using the Tatcha oil. It's actually oh, okay. one of the most popular face oils. I feel like people always have really good reviews about it. Mm -hmm. um, Carly from my team is a huge fan of that oil. It really does remove everything. Um, but do you wear lashes every day? No. No? Just when you're doing your filming and stuff? But that's a lot, right? Yeah. I would say like maybe 70% of the time I wear lashes, so I guess that's pretty often. So do you, do you pull them off your eyes a lot? Always. Okay, so that's one that I'm going to make you stop doing. Is that why I don't have any eyelashes left? Yes! <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Just wait till you see how I take off my mascara, then you're really oh. going to look. <laughs> oh my God. So wait, so the peeling off of the lashes, one, your actual lashes suffer from that. Yes. But two, the skin around your eyes, all of that skin is really thin. Mm -hmm. It's probably some of our most fragile skin. And so we want to avoid having to have surgery later on, right? Okay. And so, or at least- I would like to avoid least, that, yeah. hold it off, right? So that our skin's not getting loose. And so you don't want the skin, even on the top of your lids, the mm -hmm. top lids, that skin is really, really delicate and you don't want to yank on it at all. Maybe that's why mine are so crinkly. They're not crinkly. I'm looking right at them. Oh my gosh. So pretty, but that's- So how am I supposed to take them off then? So usually what we say, well, are you gonna save the lashes? Cause that's usually what I- I use them like six times. Yeah, okay. So usually what I think people should do is probably micellar water. So okay. it doesn't ruin them. And what I've seen, I've like actually seen- tip or something? Yeah, exactly. I've seen people do that. Did it make you cringe a little bit when you saw that? Ooh, I was like, no, Katie's beautiful eyes. <laughs> but you know, you do it so smoothly. It's like, I, you know, I see some people take them off and like half their eyelids getting pulled off. And that's where I cringe. <laughs> Yours came off really easily, actually. I was kind of like, that was smooth. They were barely resting there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it had been a full day. It's eight o'clock. Yeah, it was, they were ready to go. Yeah, but, okay. I love it. And I start typically on my under eyes because I feel like when I set, that's where it's like the most set. <laughs> 
and I'm just kind of like massaging the oil into my face, breaking up the makeup. I feel like skincare is very important. I actually want to like focus more on getting like, I don't know if I want facials this year or like I want to try micro stamping. It's like a version of micro needling. I really want to do that. I heard I'm a good candidate uh, for like large pores. Uh, I definitely- I will say that shit hurts. Does it? it I, That's okay. probably why I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it hurts. Micro needling, yeah. I absolutely love. With the micro stamping, they're kind of like, it doesn't hurt that bad. And they don't numb you as much as they would for micro needling. Because oh, it's more shallow, right? Yes. Than a micro needling. Yes. I say just go micro needling. Just go all the way. Just go all the way with micro needling. I had a friend that did it, and her skin texture, I, the next time I saw her, I was amazing. Amazed. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. So, it's on my list, I just... I know, it's scary. I yeah, I'm scared. But actually, this brings me to, before we even keep going, what type of skin would you say you have? I think I'm combination, mm -hmm. and I get dehydrated skin from time to time. Okay. Very weather, very affected by the weather. Really? Yeah. Okay, how about like that time of the month or something? Terrible. Really? Right now, I'm actually having a lot of hormonal breakouts. Uh -huh. I've broken out more in the past two weeks than I did all of last year. Mm. So something's going on. Like I haven't been sleeping very well the past couple weeks and my eating has been kind of off. Mm -hmm. It just shows through my face first okay. and foremost. So the past two weeks, I'm just, I'm kind of like, okay, what's going on here? What yeah. is this? What's happening right now? But hopefully, cause it's my time of the month right now, I'm thinking will be cleared up in a little bit, but okay. you never know. All right. I wanna just get my skincare routine dialed in this year. Go, okay, so now once I feel like I've broken down all the makeup, I kinda just wiggle this into my lashes to get the waterproof mascara <laughs> off. Now what I'm gonna do is just- You know what's funny is I was like, just breathe. I've never watched myself do that because my eyes are always closed. So That's when I true. saw it, I was kinda like, whoa, like what I'm being doing? a little aggressive there. Yeah. No, this is good. This is good. Let's continue watching it. Just rinse off the oil with warm water off of my face. All right, just rinsed off the oil. My face is still wet. Okay, so instead of wiggling the lashes, all you have to do is honestly, when you have your oil, just press it onto your eyes. You can even rub a little bit, mm -hmm. but the individual rubbing, honestly, I don't even think that's that bad for your actual skin. But if you say that your lashes are starting to disappear a little bit, that might, yeah. it might be something. Well, first off, the oil should be getting all of your makeup off. Mm -hmm. Is it maybe like glue and all that kind of stuff it's too? It's glue, that a lot of glue. Mm -hmm. hmm. A lot of extra activity on my lashes that they probably <laughs> just don't like. Yeah, I feel like you'll benefit from not actually, like individually, you know, mm -hmm. going at them, but just holding it there, rubbing it very gently. Mm -hmm. So you just rinsed your skin. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I think we're okay. We're okay. Yeah. We can I'm rinsed. <laughs> You're rinsed. Step okay, one. Let's keep going. But uh, I like to cleanse right after I do that. And the cleanser that I've been using is from Tatcha. This is the Deep Cleanse. I've really been liking this one. This is a brand new one that I just opened. I just finished my last bottle. I've been using it for the past three months or so. I just really like the way it makes my face feel after I use it and I like Tatcha. So this is the cleanser that I've been using and I take some of this, a little bit more water. Okay, makeup was coming through right here. I'm just saying <laughs> makeup was coming through. Video for that cover up is also up on my channel or <laughs> will be up on my channel, just saying when this comes out. So one thing I've noticed with skincare for me is it's all about what I put into my body. That has been the biggest factor in my skincare. Not only what I put into my body, meaning what I eat, but um, stress, sleep. If I'm not getting enough sleep, I tend to just look a little bit more dull, a little bit more tired. But if I, like for me, I know if I eat a lot of sugar or if I drink a lot of alcohol, my skin reacts pretty quickly to that. So I try to be as conscientious as possible of that. And I think if I massage this cleanser into my face anymore, it's gonna disappear. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash it off. Anyway. Okay, so one thing I'm gonna w ask you, because I know it gets hard when you're filming, mm -hmm. but are you re are you removing the makeup? I did this? address that in this video. I said, <laughs> I would normally do this on my neck, but it's really hard to do on camera because my sink is actually over there. Oh, <laughs> I love that. that. See, you guys, that is the stuff that happens behind the scenes. When you guys are like, well, what about the neck? Or yeah. like, it was like running all over her and stuff. This isn't the usual, right. right? Or like, you know, I think someone commented one time on one of my videos that they was they were like, your cleanser isn't setting up enough or something. Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, they're like, add more water. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't want it to just drip right. all over the place. Yeah, so I said that because I knew that was gonna come up. Am I hitting my neck? Um, I didn't do it because I was already making a big mess. Yeah. And, um, and the sink is and over the there. the sink is over there. Behind her. Yep. 
I said it in the video, but I do normally go okay. down my neck. Yeah, perfect. What I'm gonna use to take off my cleanser is this tiny microfiber towel. My mom actually gave this to me. She said it works really well to take off excess makeup. And I use this, I also use the face halos. I just have all these products in rotation. This is currently what's on the list for tonight. Oh my God, I gotta wash this off. Gotta wash this off. So then I Whoa. was completely dry on my face. <laughs> <laughs> the cleanser <laughs> the cleanser it was it was just sticky at that point i was just like wow i didn't even know it got to that texture so. I, <laughs> again you guys these are the things that happen when you're on camera when you're filming this. it it just everything takes two or three times as long yeah um okay uh microfiber cloth i think that's awesome i'm gonna not even say anything yet until i watch how you use it i will say though um actually you know what i'm gonna hold this thought okay i'm gonna watch how you do it just take this towel. I just lightly um, massaged my face with this in the sink. This just helps to get off any excess makeup. I've also pretty much completely stopped using makeup wipes. It is just kind of a lot of waste just to take. <laughs> <laughs> Before I even hear why, but that is honestly, that's the biggest thing. Yeah. I, I feel like it was all of the content creators that really push the makeup. I mean, makeup wipes are just easy to like mm -hmm. because they're, they're easy. They're easy. It seems very convenient, but it is ruining our skin. Mm -hmm. It is a lot of waste. Um, I think that we're, I think everybody in the beauty industry is doing a better job of trying oh, to be a sure. little bit more like conscious of what we're uh -huh. wasting, right? Yeah, and I, I think maybe before, I kind of talked about it in the video, but using like uh, micellar water or oil was so foreign to me. So it was just a makeup wipe was just how I took my makeup off for the longest time. I didn't really know about all the other things. And I think now that there's so many products that you can take it off with, mm -hmm. it just makes, sense to do and it that way. Actually, when you think about it, the oil cleanse is even faster if you mm -hmm. really, really think about it. And you're not tagging on your skin as And it much. really breaks it down. It's crazy when you use a makeup wipe and then you use an oil after how much more comes off. I know. You're like, well, that really didn't Yeah, a makeup do wipe is a little fake sometimes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah. It's a little fake, fake sometimes. News. Okay. <laughs> I want to continue seeing this. Take off your makeup when you could do the same thing with other products. So I've gotten rid of makeup wipes. The only time I ever use them is typically when I'm doing my makeup for something in particular. All right, so now I'm just- Wait, what do you mean by that? So if I'm doing a clean line mm -hmm. or very specific little area is the time that I'll use part of a makeup wipe, but it's very rare. Yeah. Because I still have them, but I never use it to take off my makeup anymore. Very, very rarely. <laughs> I mean, we don't need to continue the video. You're good. We're I'm good. sure if I saw myself taking off my makeup with a makeup wipe, it would be absolutely tragic. I used to wear winged eyeliner every day going in with a makeup wipe. Like We all did it. Yeah. We've all done it. <laughs> the only thought I have with the microfiber, I actually really like a microfiber. Um, I don't like it as the only cleanse, which a lot of people have told me that they try to use that, like a microfiber or face halo or something mm -hmm. as their only cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I can see it like removes the makeup. It's it's abrasive enough, mm -hmm. but abrasive isn't really the word you want when you're cleansing your skin, right? Um, so you don't do that, obviously. Um, but what I would say is you might actually like using it to take off your first cleanse. So removing the oil? Removing the oil. Oh, and that okay. might actually help you with the eye makeup oh. and the glue and everything. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure again that you're not really rubbing it. Right. Um, this, and then you could also use it just like you're using it right here because you're trying to get like a hair, like hairline. So I okay. think it's, it's one of those where you can use it like that, remove the oil if you want, if you really need that extra help. Mm -hmm. And then you can go in with this second cleanse and then just use maybe like one end of it or something to okay. dab away all the rest of it. Dude. Those are cool ones where your mom gave you those. Honestly, I'm like, Amazon? did she sew this? I don't know. <laughs> she comes up with tiny things like this out of nowhere, and I honestly, like, she could have made it. This, I really don't know. You could sell these. There's no way to, mom, if you're watching this, can you let us know, please? I want some of these. <laughs> tiny microfiber towel. They're I just so like nice. the size, because sometimes it's like, I don't need, Yeah. but I'm only gonna use it once. Yeah. Just kind of uh, using this, this is kind of like exfoliates, but it does get off any excess makeup that I might have on my face. And now I'm gonna go ahead and rinse one more time. Got a clean towel here. Just gonna pat dry. I'm trying to be extra good knowing that uh, <laughs> she's gonna be watching my video. I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably be wiping my face a little bit more than this, but I'm trying to pat dry here. I like that that one makes my face feel clean, but without feeling stripped. Um, that's one thing that I do like about that cleanser. All right, next up. Um. <laughs> I'm just being so honest. honest. So I would have been like, ah! <laughs> well, you want to pat dry. You don't want to irritate <laughs> your face. Is your skin sensitive at all? Not really. Honestly, I don't know. Like, does it turn red if you just barely oh, tap? I mean, you'll no. You'll see not after this. It's not turning that. It's not really turning no. red after that, though. No. So I, I would say it's not that sensitive. Yeah, I get yeah. it. You know, it's one of those things where I always tell everybody 
you know, it might not seem, seem like anything's happening to your skin, but if you get any irritation, that irritation builds up. Mm -hmm. And you want to think of it as that. It's like over the years, the irritation is building up. And so then when you start to get the dark spots and all that, um, the hyperpigmentation, yep. any loose skin, it's from years and years of accumulated stress on your skin. Yep. So that's the only thing. I, those, both those cleansers have a little bit of fragrance, which mm. I tend to, I always tell everybody I'm a hypocrite. I, I like fragrance in my products mm -hmm. because I like that experience. Yeah. Um, when it's a wash off product though, it's usually fine because it's not gonna sit on your skin. But so I'll, rather than a serum or something that has fragrance yeah. in it. This is a product that I recently purchased. I've used seven or eight times so far. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. I was using the Sanitas, I think they're the daily exfoliating pads. It just came in one container. Those helped clear up my clogged pores so much. I just recently ran out and I decided to try something new. They're pretty good. I got to keep using them to see how I really feel about them, but I do love using a peel pad. Like I feel like peel pads definitely made a huge transformation in my skin in terms of texture because I do tend to get just like a lot of little bumps on my face and I don't know if it's from makeup or what but the sanitas pads were amazing so i'm on to these ones now you can let me know how you feel about these i don't like the fact that they're in separate packages like this though unfortunately so you take this little pad here and you kind of massage it in all over your skin helps to lift away dead skin along with excess oils and impurities while improving the appearance of uneven skin tone and texture. They do zing a little bit. Uh, when I used the Sanitas one, it definitely took me like a week to get used to it. But once I did, my face just absolutely loved it. I always like to focus it right here. This is like where I get a lot of little bumps right here on my chin. I'm gonna get it. And then we have step two, which is the anti-aging neutralizer. So it's on the other side of this. And you wait two minutes after you do the exfoliating part and then you do this one. I will say that when I use a peel pad and my skin in the morning just feels tighter, it feels softer, it feels smoother, it feels a little bit brighter. I just, one of my favorite things for sure is using peel pads. I would be taking these steps down my neck but it's really hard to do on camera. So just know that I'm thinking about it but for these purposes, I'm not doing it. So now my skin is feeling nice and tingly, but like in a good way. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like it's really red right here in my mustache region. I love that for me right now. Um, anyway, uh, next step. Okay, wait, let's... I don't know if that's ever happened before. Or... Really? You're like, of course this video, this is the video where I'm gonna And it was red. red the rest of the video too, and it just was like right here. I was like, great, <laughs> wait, awesome. So you only start using them, how often do you use them? These ones I just got, I've been a little lazy with my skincare this year. I would say two or three times a week Okay. for those. The Sunita's one, like I go in phases with my skincare mm -hmm. where I'm really on it and then I'm just, like I can't, I can't do this right now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, but those ones I was doing like at least four times a week. Okay, so I'm going to venture, I, first off, I love those. I think okay. they're great. I hate also that they're individually packaged, but I they're- I like they don't have to be. They don't have to be, but they've yeah. kind of been like that since they started them. Oh. They've been around forever. Okay. Um, and uh, and it, they just basically haven't changed it. Got it. Uh, it was like before everybody was woke. <laughs> <laughs> so what, I'm, I, what I think might be happening mm -hmm. is, and this is something that happens to people all the time. Mm -hmm. You think that your skin can handle that because you were doing it before with another product. Yeah. But now you're saying you're having different reactions that you haven't had before. Is that what happened to me right now? Well, no, 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 no. So I think though that maybe you're more sensitive. Something, I think something is happening to Something's your skin. Something's happening. And this is obviously where it goes beyond what, like I obviously can't diagnose you with anything. Yeah. Um, but you what can, I have can. seen. I'll let you if you want to. <laughs> uh, just <call> me. <laughs> uh, but, uh, but what I have seen with people uh -huh. is that they, they've, like been using these products, they're totally fine, but then suddenly they're not and it's making them sensitive. Mm -hmm. um, so one, I would say take it down a notch with that and you might see your skin clear up a little bit because sometimes it's just what we're using that suddenly freaks your skin out. Use it less often. Yeah, you know what? Let's look at the ingredients really quick. Pause, we're gonna look at the ingredients of the Sanitas ones and these ones and see if there's okay. anything different that maybe that you might maybe have. Maybe that's why I'm not using those as often as yeah, I was the other ones. you're not liking it as much. Let's see, let's let's pause for a second. Okay, so we just looked at the ingredients. We compared them with Sanitas because you said your skin was looking gorgeous with the Sanitas. Mm -hmm. And then you started introducing these peel pads into your skin and it kind of started freaking out. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is what I think. I, I tend to see alcohol as one of the second ingredients on these products. 
if you did fine with the sanitas, sanitas, it's probably fine. It can be drying, but in this situation, alcohol is usually there because they want all those ingredients to actually penetrate your skin mm -hmm. and really work, you know? So it, it, when I'm talking about ingredients, you guys, I mean like there's AHAs in this, there are BHAs, which is the salicylic acid. Um, the sanitas has way less ingredients, like half the list of ingredients. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that this product is that different from mm -hmm. the sanitas one, but it has way more acids in it. Right. And it might be just taking your skin a little too far. They do have an extra gentle one. I wonder if I'd be well, a better maybe. candidate We'd for that. We'd have to look at the ingredients. Yeah. We'll do that after the video. Okay. Okay. But I, I would say that if you remove these from your skin, your skincare routine, I I have a feeling, oh my gosh. I have a feeling your skin might feel better. Okay, I'm gonna try Because you definitely that. turned really, really red. And it- I was a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, also, you know, the concentration of like the different ingredients, the acids that mm -hmm. they're using, um, it might be different. I don't know. It doesn't say how much. It's not like it's 10%, right. you know, salicylic acid and 10% this on the other one. You know, it's, you just don't really know. Mm -hmm. So the Sanitas might be a little bit more gentle. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, I know that they're, they're more gentle because they don't have as many acids. Right. Um, so you might want to just either switch back. I actually think you should let your skin chill for a second. Let it rest. <laughs> Let it rest for a second, then yeah. maybe reintroduce it and wow. see how your skin does. Okay. But but take those out. I and you'll have to tell us. Yeah, you'll I'll, like, I'll, have to I'll us. keep you updated yeah. because I'm surprised because I wasn't using them really often. But maybe that is why I'm like because it's all down mm -hmm. here. It's just a lot going on. Yeah, and if you had like, I mean, you have a couple of, that that tends to be hormonal. So mm -hmm. there might be a combination of things mm -hmm. happening, like your stress and everything. Mm -hmm. But I have a feeling that you're freaking because I also saw you. You're focusing on those areas. Mm -hmm. And some, you know, it's like, I used to think, and I see this happen all the time, that um, when you have acne or you have any like breakouts, you think that the rougher you are with them oh, and yeah. like the more you attack it and dry that out, you're Kill like, I'm gonna dry the shit yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> you think that it's actually going to be, it's going to get rid of it. Right. But sometimes your skin, because your skin is, your skin is smart. It's like a weird way of saying that, but your skin knows how to heal itself. But then you're kind of like throwing it mixed signals. Mm -hmm. And it's like, whoa, I need to like, I'm too dry now. Or something's burning me and I'm irritated. So I need to fix that first. Right. So I feel like if you just chill out on the pads. Okay. It okay. might, you might actually see. I'll chill out on the pads. You might I'll chill out on the pads. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Vita C serum. This one is from Sanitas. I do rotate between a few different vitamin C serums. The CeraVe one, the Summer Fridays one. I'm using this one currently. This one is an illuminating serum. You know, I used to be terrified, 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 terrified of putting anything that felt like an oil on my face. I feel like we all probably did, but I just don't think I ever would have done it, especially because I used to deal with like a lot of hormonal acne back in like my early mid twenties. I had a lot of challenges with my skin and I used to just put the harshest things I could find on my entire face. I think it ended up having a worse effect on my skin. It made my skin really dry, flaky, which I think made it also a little bit more oily trying to repair what the damage that I was doing to it. I definitely went through a lot of cycles of doing that. I'm glad I'm not doing that anymore. Next up I have- I'm glad you're not doing that anymore also, but you know then, right? Oh, I used to just kill my face, oh, I yeah. think. Just the strongest toners and spot treatments, anything I could find. And then it was just, my skin did, obviously didn't like yeah. it. Because yeah. who, would, our, who yeah. would like that? <laughs> I don't like to get stabbed. But that's when I knew it was like the it was from the inside. That's what was that's when I started taking spironolactone. Yeah. Oh, did that? Did oh you like gosh. that? Oh my gosh, it was everything. Right. I was you on just it. Just gotta for drink like, a lot of water. I was on it for like five years. Okay, so this is an interesting one, and I get questions about this all the time. Can you use a vitamin C after using something like HAs and BHAs? Oh, uh -huh. Have you ever thought about that? Nope. Sure um, so they're both. <laughs> Nope. Nope. <laughs> so they're both actives, okay. right? And you actually can't, they're not going to cancel each other out or anything, but they are actives. And because your skin was all really, already really red, mm -hmm. um, and you were having that kind of like, I wouldn't call it irritation, but you were, you were reacting a little bit to the peel pads. Mm -hmm. Um, you then put on another active, mm -hmm. uh, which can actually cause more sensitivity as well. So you're kind of piling it up. Um, the ingredient that is the vitamin C in this is actually a vitamin C alternative, and it tends to play really well with these kinds of ingredients. So if your skin is resilient enough, mm -hmm. then you can actually handle that. But I feel like this is a process where you're working towards that. Um, when you were using the Sanitas pads, were you using the vitamin C mm -hmm. also? The same one. Okay, so I think, I think you're probably fine using the vitamin C after that, um, but 
I think then the alpha beta pads are just a little too strong for you. Okay. That's, I just think they're a touch too strong. I mean, once I saw my face after I was looking at the footage, I was like, oh. Is yeah, that, that, what, really is that what we're doing? Yeah. But, uh, but so this is a really good one. Um, it is oil. So the first ingredient is squalane in this. And I, I tend to love that. As a really, it's a really nice oil for okay. my skin. Mm -hmm. You said you have combination skin, mm -hmm. right? Does it tend to lean more dry or does it go more oily? I would say it leans more dry. So I think that's a good one then. I think yeah. it's a really okay. good kind of uh, oil for your skin. It's good for most people's skin, to be yeah. honest. It's a really, really good oil. Um, I think, though, in combination, it might be a little bit too much. Can I ask why you don't do a retinol at night? It scares me. It scares a lot of people. I it had, scares me, too. I had such a bad experience in high school that, like, scarred me. Really? Yes. I used... This is when I was going to the dermatologist all the time trying to figure out a topical. Uh -huh. And it was... They gave me Tazerac. Okay, that's... Okay. And I used it... I don't know, a few days in a row. And literally it was, my whole face was peeling and yeah. red. Yep. In high school. Yeah. Going to school, I'll just be like, yes. Yeah, okay. I mean, I might've been in the phase of just more is better. Yeah. I can't blame them. I'll, I'll be honest, full disclosure. Yes, totally. I'll take a little accountability <laughs> there. It was probably do it like once every other day. I don't know. I think I did it three days in a row. I probably used too much. Yeah. But I was like 15, I think at yeah. the time. And I was so upset with my skin. And so I just kind of went all in and then I was just like, okay, hey, I'm never touching retinol again. In a perfect world for me, mm -hmm. for Katie's skin, <laughs> I would like to see your vitamin C in the morning before sunscreen. Do you wear sunscreen? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. But if you could add the vitamin C in the morning, unless it's going to interact with your makeup. I, yeah, I was going to say, I think this one might be too oily for my makeup. For your makeup. Mm -hmm. So maybe not use this one, but use a different vitamin C in the morning. Okay. And then try to do a retinol at night. So you used an actual prescription. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm like a three-time prescription dropout when it comes to <laughs> retinol. Yeah. When it, and that's actually not even retinol. That is going into like full on a real retinoid. Yeah. And so if you take a step back, I feel like the last couple of years, the retinols have become so good over the counter like over now. The counter ones. Yeah. And you can start really gentle. What I would say is put your moisturizer on first, mm -hmm. then put the retinol on oh. to start it and only do it like once a week to start. Okay. And you might really, really like it. Okay. And then on the other days, maybe you can use the vitamin C okay. when you're not using I it. I have one that somebody gave me that they say is amazing. I can't remember the brand. I'll send it to you. Okay. And you can Sounds good. Know. But I think that'll do better. And, and then you'll see the vitamin C is brightening your skin in the morning. So in the morning you're brightening and protecting your skin because vitamin C also protects your skin mm -hmm. from pre, like the free radicals and everything. Wow. So it works well with your sunscreen. Okay. Because then it's like I think I do the CeraVe one in the morning. Perfect. That one doesn't isn't as yeah. It'll know. actually do well with makeup. Okay. Yeah, it's a good one. So um, I'm gonna say that this this is a good product. Don't get me wrong. This mm -hmm. vitamin C. Um, it's I'm just, just irritating that, my skin. You're just using <laughs> <laughs> your skin I'm just doesn't irritated. like it. That's all. <laughs> so, I'm like I don't use like any harsh ingredients yeah. anymore. But <laughs> And those those alpha beta pads are no joke. <laughs> They're not. I swear the other ones like I'd never experienced that experience that reaction. So that means yeah. go back to those if you want to do it. But I would in between going back to them, I would chill out for a second. Okay. Let your skin just get back to normal. Okay. My eye cream, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't use eye cream every single night. But when I do remember to use it, I use the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Treatment. So I take a little bit of this. Actually, that's a lot. And you know what? I don't ever recall my mustache ever getting so red before. But then again, maybe I've never been so well lit while doing a skincare routine. <laughs> so we're putting that on here. Anyway, back to uh, trying to zap your skin. I also used to do really, really intense spot treatments. Like basically kill it with fire was my idea and thought that I would work. And it wasn't until I actually burned my skin with spot treatment that I said, okay, you know what, let me go ahead and not do that anymore. So, wait, what were you using? <laughs> I literally had like a burn mark on no. my skin. <laughs> what, what I'm was trying that? to remember, I think it was like a face mask that I used yeah. to like, I don't even, it was a while ago, but I literally had like, girl, it was, you would, <laughs> you would be so ashamed if you saw it. It was no. so traumatic. Like, yeah, it was a mess. How long ago was that? Several years ago. Okay, so we've we've come to several a new place several now, years though. ago. Yeah, I actually don't. I mean, I don't really use spot treatment anymore because of that reason. <laughs> so that's good to know. Yeah. So I think your skin might be kind of sensitive though, if you actually, because spot treatments, I feel like you should be able to use spot treatments mm -hmm. depending on the spot treatment. 
pretty regularly. So if mm -hmm. that's burning your skin, that means that your skin doesn't want too much happening to it. Yeah. You know? Oh, so you'll see that I actually don't put spot treatment over here because I don't have one that I really like because I don't really like to dry it out because typically my breakouts are like deeper under the skin or they have been lately. So doing something that just dries it out doesn't really work when it's like a hormonal breakout or something that's more cystic or under the skin. So I tend to skip that. The one that I was using before, but I ran out and I noticed that they don't sell it anymore. They don't sell it at Sephora. It was from Belief and it was their tea tree oil. Do we hate tea tree oil now? Did that happen? I don't know, but that was the one spot treatment that I was using. I would just put a little dab of that on there. And I did feel like it helped without drying it out because that was one thing that kind of annoyed me with spot treatments is that it dries it out and makes your skin all like red and flaky. And I never really felt like it actually killed the breakout underneath it. So I tend to skip doing that now uh, and I just try to hydrate. <laughs> Basically, I'm like, let me just hydrate my skin and hopefully that helps. All right, am I... Hydrate and irritate. <laughs> hydrate Apparently. and irritate together. <laughs> hydrate hydration, and irritate. Is, hydration is key. Um, we haven't canceled tea tree oil yet. I, I feel like some people might say they have, but I, I was looking at it, I was like, did we cancel this? And I didn't, like, nobody told me that yeah. we canceled this. Because that happens sometimes where all of a sudden it's an ingredient and everybody's like, no, no, you cannot use that anymore. Yeah, no, that one hasn't. I mean, there are some people that probably will say that, but I feel like, so what you're liking about tea tree oil, oil is that it's stopping the inflammation, which is the redness. Mm -hmm. So it helps to calm that. There are so many calming I was just gonna ask you, products. when I was looking for that, yeah. I saw that Belief has like a tea tree oil moisturizer or yeah. they have oh, toners or something. you don't need that. You don't need that for your no? entire face. Okay. I think you're liking it just for the spot. Mm -hmm. You might, you know, there's like, there are some masks and stuff too. So maybe every once in a while doing it, yeah. but I don't think you need to do it on the regular. Okay. Um, but there are definitely products like mm -hmm. serums and creams and stuff that are for sensitivity when you're getting red and irritated mm -hmm. that you can put on your skin and it okay. might help calm that. Um, okay, eye cream. I was very impressed. The little, the ring finger. We all know so the ring delicate. finger. So delicate. Um, obviously you can apply it with any of your fingers, but your ring finger tends to be the most, it's like the weakest finger, mm -hmm. funny enough. Um, so you did a great job with that. You don't have to use eye cream every single night. If you don't feel like you need it. I don't. It. <laughs> I, well, I just don't in general because yeah. it's just one step too much. <laughs> yeah. If anything, I would say um, when I, I actually like the Kiehl's one a lot, mm -hmm. but I tend to use it right before makeup, but you don't really need it. And honestly, looking at the way, I mean, you, you're putting on the vitamin C. I have a feeling you're going to finish with the moisturizer. Mm -hmm. So you probably don't need to put eye cream. a eye cream there. Do you hate eye cream? I don't hate eye cream. Do you feel like it's like a... A gimmick? Yeah. Kind of. A little bit. Okay. I mean, extra moisture is extra moisture. Yeah. Right? That's why I think like in the morning it's good. If you get an eye cream that's... I mean, there are some obviously that stand out that are like, they've got retinol in them or maybe they're even from the doctor's office and it has hydroquinone in there and it's helping mm -hmm. with that hyperpigmentation or the dark darkness under your eyes or something. That's different. But when someone's like, I just need... I just need in an eye cream for moisture. I'm like, you can use your moisturizer. Okay. Yeah. That makes, you're just saying it's, it's a tiny jar of moisturizer. It's, it's a tiny jar of moisturizer. <laughs> so great. That's all great. You don't have to. Okay. Did you just do it for the skincare video? A little bit. I'm not going to lie. I was like, I can't skip eye cream. <laughs> I love it. Okay. We got this. You were almost done. Are you feeling okay? I am. I feel good. Oh, good. The very last step in my skincare routine is moisturizing. Going back to Belief the True Cream Aqua Balm. This one right here. So I just opened this one back up. So I just like to press this in on top of the serum. And I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video, but my skin type is... I would say I'm probably more combination skin, but I do tend to have drier areas or more dehydrated skin from time to time. I feel like that is very um, weather specific. Like over the winter months, I feel like my skin is very dry. And then I do tend to get hormonal breakouts. So like this area here will pop up every once in a while. It happened to just pop up right before I filmed this video. So <laughs> we get to talk about that in this video. I feel good about this. Nice and pressed into the skin. I could really use some lip balm right now in a bad way. All right guys, so that is my nighttime skincare routine. That is everything that I do. <sighs> I hope I did a good job today. We will see. All right guys, so uh, Susan on Mixed Makeup will be reacting to this video, so make sure you guys go check that out. Hopefully I did okay. Hopefully I did everything in the right order. That's the one that gets me. I'm like, oh, did I do this in the right order? Thanks for watching. I hope you guys like my nighttime skincare routine and I will see you guys in the next video. Order, your order was 
perfect. Wow. Absolutely perfect. Um, but, okay, so I do have a thought though. You put the moisturizer on very nicely. Mm -hmm. You even got the neck. I'm very proud of you. Mm -hmm. Even though we know that there was some makeup on that neck. I probably just put it right on top of it. Yeah. But it's for the video. Mm -hmm. We know this. We know that you actually will clean it. Um, so the thing I'll say, I like the Belief Aqua Balm. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's for your skin type though. Really? Yeah, so you were saying to me off camera that you like the gel moisturizers. Yes. Tell me why you like the gel moisturizers. I like that they don't feel heavy. Mm -hmm. I feel like they kind of disappear. Yeah. So I think, well, you can still use them first mm -hmm. off, but I think you actually might need something a little bit stronger. Heavier. A little bit heavier. Okay. Well, see, this is the thing. So now we're like, we're like deconstructing what you're mm -hmm. doing with your skin. So you might feel like you have dry, dehydrated skin. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is telling me, this is telling me a lot about your skin. Okay, so. <laughs> She's getting excited. So, um, so you might feel like you have the dry, dehydrated like spots on mm -hmm, your face mm -hmm. because of what you're using. It might be something like the peel pads, mm -hmm. right? And so then you're, but it might be that you don't like the, the heavier creams or the moisturizers because you don't actually have dry skin. So that might oh, be what's happening. Okay. Is, and you probably notice it more during the weather, mm -hmm. when the weather changes and stuff, mm -hmm. because it just it just exacerbates it and yeah. makes it a little bit worse. And so then you notice it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. um, but I, I have a feeling you might not, I, you probably don't have dry skin. Wow. You, I think it's those peel pads. <sighs> I think it's those peel pads. Because if you like the Aqua Balm, it's a very, very light moisturizer. Like yeah. um, Carly on my team, I brought her up earlier. She she used to like that one a lot because uh -huh. it's very light and she had acne prone skin. Uh -huh. So she liked it. Right. But you're not saying you have acne prone skin. You're saying you have combination dehydrated dry skin. Mm -hmm. But I think that you might not. I think you might be causing that dryness. I think you're causing the dehydration. This whole video is you telling me it's all my fault, <laughs> I think. <laughs> I mean, it's always our fault though. <laughs> Even some of the things I do, I'm like, what did I just do? What is it that I'm yeah. doing to my skin right now that's causing this, right? So I'm just combination? I think you might not even be combination. What am I, normal? You might be normal. You might have like slightly oily, but I don't think so. I think you might just actually have normal skin and you're drying it out. Oh my gosh. Like you might be causing that. All right, so we've seen it. Told you about the moisturizer. I'm gonna give you what I think would be a really good skincare routine. And okay. we actually want updates because everybody always wants an update and nobody I'll, gives us an update. I'll give you updates. Okay. I'll do it. I'm ready. <laughs> so what I think, okay. I think your oil cleanser, perfect. Okay. We're gonna keep that there. So that second cleanse that you do mm -hmm. is actually a sort of strong cleanse. It's technically an exfoliating cleanser. Mm -hmm. So that's a really, it's literally called like deep cleanse. Mm -hmm. And I know that you said it doesn't make your skin feel tight or anything, but it might be like the start of eventually like your skin feeling too tight. Oh. So maybe we go with even a less- Like a hydrating cleanser? Just a hydrating cleanser. And CeraVe has that hydrating cleanser. So you can just use that. Mm -hmm. um, it's not as bougie. It's not, not as, as bougie. fancy. But that's okay. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's okay. Um, and not that the Tatcha cleanser is a bad cleanser. Mm -hmm. It's just that in combination with what you're using, right? Okay. So I think maybe if you take it down, take it maybe to gel cleanser, hydrating gel cleanser, that CeraVe hydrating cleanser is a great one. Yep. Because I think you need that replenishing for mm -hmm. your skin. I think you completely kick those alpha beta pads for a little while, just for a little while. And then um, you can either maybe go back to the Sunitas ones or add in something that's a little bit more gentle. Okay. Something's got like lactic acid in it. Um, I truly love this one from Ren called the Ready Steady Glow. It's mm -hmm. Ready Steady Glow. It's azelaic acid, much more gentle for okay. you as well. Um, any of those kinds of ingredients, mandelic acid, lactic acid, go for the acids that are a little bit more gentle mm -hmm. and try to introduce those into your skin because that's going to get rid of the texture if that's what you're worried about. And then I think that from there, in my perfect world for you, I'd move a vitamin C up to your, your morning, morning skincare routine and then have a retinol at night and just ease you in. I know. <laughs> I know I'm asking a lot, but that's also going to help with the texture stuff. Okay. That's going to help with the texture. Okay. That's going to help with any hyperpigmentation. And you said that you feel like you're about to start really dealing with that. So yeah. the retinol is going to help that. Mm -hmm. And you can ease into it. Use it once a night and then on other nights use the vitamin C or nothing at all. One, one retinol that I started using is by Burst and it has a combination of something called Bakachil. Bakachil. People corrected me last time. I was like, Bakachil? Bakachil. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of like an alternative to retinol. It's not mm -hmm. as strong. It has a combination of that and then they call it encapsulated retinol where it releases over time as mm -hmm. you're sleeping. So I think that would be a really, really good one. Okay. Something gentle like that. Yeah. You can, we'll, we can find you like a really good gentle retinol to okay. get started on. Okay. Um, and because you like having, um, you like to treat your, your pimples when you do have some breakouts and stuff. So I'd really like Zitsticka. 
people I just think, got those. Try them. Okay. Try them. Okay. Because you can also put them on and then do whatever else because they're they they're covering everything and it's not gonna penetrate. Okay. So those are those are gonna be nice. If you burn, yeah. Be careful, go slowly. But you'll like those for those deep ones. Okay. And then I would use just um I would use, you know, maybe stick with your aqua bomb for now and see how your skin starts to adjust to all of that. Okay. And then you might think that your dryness has gone away. Um, but those, you know, you do have some hormonal. So there is some stuff that's happening deep inside. Yeah. You got to figure My that soul. one out. Yeah. <laughs> as far as your skincare goes, I think you're going to see less irritation on your okay. skin. I'm if you stop with it. Yeah. I'm excited about that. But it was great. You did a great job. I the did, order okay. was perfect. You had great products. So I, I think it's really just trying to figure out the products for your actual skin type. And, and that I thought I was hard. using gentle. You, I thought I was gentle the whole time. <laughs> those peel pads and the vitamin C, vitamin C can be really strong and acidic for okay. people. This is amazing. I'm so glad. You guys, to tell you, like, I got to tell you this. Katie, I was emailing her back and forth and asking if she wanted to do this. And she's like, thank you so much for considering me for this. And I was like, thank you so much for <laughs> responding to me. What? Are you kidding me? I was me? excited. I needed, the, obviously, I needed this right now. So No, this is, this is fun. And I think it's, it's fun to have the discussion because yeah. it fills in so many gaps of things. You know, I always have questions about mm -hmm. what's going on. I can actually see your skin. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing, too. So it's always yeah. really, really helpful. I find skincare to be really overwhelming, so. Do you? Yeah. You don't seem like it. Because there's so, I think that's why I've just kind of just cut out steps because there's so many that you can do. I'm like, should I be rolling my face with something right no, now? No, not if you don't want to. A little, like, am I missing no. out? No, and she's got really good, like, she's got really good <laughs> structure going to your skin and stuff. You look great. You're <laughs> obviously you. beautiful. Aww. And you're not doing like, so you're obviously not doing anything that bad, <laughs> you know? And everyone's gonna be like, she looks great. Why are you critiquing her? But, you know, you know, I mean, I've had a huge better. change in my skin, so I really needed to like come in and get my assessment. And honestly, if you can go to an esthetician regularly, yeah, it's going. I think an that's esthetician be huge. that works for you. People are always like, "How do you choose an esthetician?" Mm -hmm. You've got to jive with yeah. your esthetician. Yeah, and I've never had one, so there we go. I need to go find one. Yeah, we'll get you one. We'll get her one. Right? <laughs> Thank you, you guys. So you can watch the full video on Katie's channel. She obviously has amazing makeup tutorials, but you also do so much more lifestyle now yeah, too. Yeah. I feel like we're starting to really get to know her and John. I mean, really we've been knowing know you guys, us. but we're really <laughs> starting to get to know you guys and they've got a lot of projects happening and just fun stuff. Yeah. I love seeing everything that's happened in your life. Aww, it's been thank amazing. You. Yeah. Well, thanks for having me today. Yeah, thank you for fun. coming. Um, you guys tell us in the comments below if you have any suggestions, questions, anything like that. I'm sure Katie will answer too. Mm -hmm. And obviously if you go over to her channel, channel. She'll answer the questions there too. Thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.